So we've got a loan adjustment here immediately just set up a T account, call it loan. And as you know, with our loan accounts, it increases on the credit side, decreases on the debit side. Look, our outstanding balance here is this 1725500. dollars Goodness gracious me. Am I still in finance mode in Maths Paper 1? <laughs> I was making some math videos this morning. Um, opening balance, yammer, yammer, leave yammer, sorry. Uh, opening balance is 1725500. dollars That's our opening balance, okay? Fixed monthly repayments, including interest, are 31600 Please note that it says monthly. So that's going to be 31600 We're going to multiply that by 12. And that's how we get the 379200 uh, for our monthly repayments. Monthly repayments is going to decrease our outstanding like loan amount that we owe to whichever bank. So that's going to go here on the debit side, 379200 Capitalized interest amounted to 242500 The word capitalized, it means like added to the account at hand. So this 242500 it's going to increase our loan amount. Okay, so that's going to be credited to for two five hundred interest for the next financial year is one hundred and sixty two thousand. So that's in the next financial year. We're not realizing it this year. So one hundred and sixty two thousand goes there, and part of the loan will be repaid within the next financial year. And that's going to be our current portion of loan. So the current portion of loan represents everything on the debit side. So next financial year, remember loan loan is a long term liability. It's non current, right? This loan is going to be repaid in the next financial year within 12 months. Okay, like within that 12 month period, we're going to transfer it to our balance sheet and call it current portion of loan. How do we calculate current portion of loan? Well, simply put, it's the 379 minus the 162. So 369 minus the 162, that gives you uh, 217,200. So if you just uh, totalize these sides, you get 1968 zero, zero, zero. One nine six eight zero zero zero. But we're just missing an amount. This current portion of the loan, and the current portion of the loan is two one seven two hundred, right? That two one seven two hundred. That's factoring in the interest for next year as well. So we can just pluck the two one seven thousand two hundred in here, but we have to remove the interest amount, or we can calculate the difference between the two one seven two hundred and the 16200 and just plug it in here. And you can choose to do both. Um, I guess this is a little bit easier for most. So just subtract that. The 217200 goes in here now and then this balancing figure amount um, is going to be 1371600. One, and yeah, that's it. That's the question that 1371600 one, that you can just plug that into your loan total in your balance sheet. That's it. And the interest expense amount is going to be the 242500 This amount that I've just circled, that goes straight into your income statement. And yeah, um, look, I know your teachers probably want like a line calculation, but trust me, general ledger calculations are, are fine. They will be marked accordingly. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Bye.